In this video, we're gonna go over the best way to find wholesale suppliers for Amazon FBA business. And I might even argue it might be the easiest way because we're gonna be using a software and chat GPT AI combined to make this happen. So let's get started. The software that we're gonna be using is Smart Scout. And Smart Scout is a software tool that's designed specifically for Amazon FBA. So what Smart Scout will do for you is gonna help you with your product research by providing all the data and information to reach out to these brands and potential products that you can sell on Amazon FBA. So as we know, there's a million products on amazon.com and th that's one of the biggest hurdles that holds most beginners back is just the overwhelming information of where to start to find brands and products to start selling. So our goal is going to filter and narrow down these products. All right, guys, we are here at Smart Scout, and in order to get started, we're gonna go under brands here on the left side of the screen. Then, as I mentioned earlier, there's millions of products on Amazon, so we need to filter and narrow it down. So we're gonna go to filters right here. All right, and the beautiful thing about Smart Scout is that they let you allow to save the filters that you had inputted here. So in the future, if that was a good filter, which resulted in you finding a bunch of products, you can simply go back to that, all right? So as beginners, we don't know where to start. So we're, what I would suggest is definitely go to primary category here. All right, and easy thing to avoid immediately as a beginner is don't sell where Amazon's selling already. So Amazon Pink, right, like Alexa and stuff like that. But other categories here are pretty much uh, something we're gonna filter. So just for the sake of example, so there's a lot of filters here. Let's go ahead and go with beauty and personal care as that's one of the biggest um, criteria or category that sells a lot on Amazon. So we have our beauty and personal care. Next, we're gonna go ahead and search at the bottom right. Okay, so you can see that narrowed to 58,391 results right here. And there's a lot of brands and products to go through and we simply don't have the time uh, to do that. So we're gonna go back to our filters and keep on narrowing. So that's our goal here is to narrow it as little as possible for us to go through. Next, we're gonna go to Amazon in stock rate. Basically what that means is if Amazon was in stock the past 90 days and just as a rule of thumb, you wanna avoid uh, competing with Amazon. So just to be safe here, we'll go ahead and type in Amazon in stock rate 50% of the time as a maximum. So that narrows down our filter to 29,893. There's still a lot of products. So let's keep on filtering it down and not even worry what brands are you know, in our results uh, so far. All right, so average number of sellers, the next one here, and this is super important because you wanna put in a good enough information because with using softwares like Smart Scout is what you put in is what you get out. So in order for the uh, results that we want, we wanna make sure there's at least three minimum sellers available. A, it's gonna avoid looking for brands that's private label. Basically, it's their own brand that they're selling on Amazon. You don't wanna compete with them because they can give you an IP complaint. Also, they can kick you off the listings, right? Because they're the owners. And second, avoids Amazon as well. Third, you just wanna make sure that it sells. So having three sellers or more just kinda shows and tells us that it's safe to sell on Amazon. All right, so we have three sellers here as our minimum, maximum. I'd like to put mine at 15, all right? I don't wanna go anything over the, above that because obviously you know the more sellers there is, the more competition does, it, it might result in price tanking, okay? So 15 is a good number there. Obviously you can adjust accordingly, but just to follow through the process here, let's go ahead and hit search. So now we're at 3,188, we're slowly getting there, but I think this is a good starting point where we can uh, go through the things manually here. So we'll go back through the results here, okay? And as you can see some of these brands you might be familiar already, like L'Oreal, Dove, so on and so forth, Gillette. My tip here for you as a beginner is to avoid the most popular products just because a lot of people are gonna go for that, right? So that means a lot of competition. It's just harder to find a lot of profit in these. So for me personally, I like to find brands that are just right under the popular products. And if you are finding a brand that you may never heard of, that means you're on the right path. So let's go through here, see what we can find, like Revlon, Wall, I know all those, Bath and Body Works, all right? Burt's Bees, I know that. So let's find a brand here that we've never heard of. Oh, at least I'm not familiar. All right, right here. Meal Organics. Let's go ahead and click on this. And if you hit this little magnifying glass, it gives you different options here. And we're gonna go through the products they sell on Amazon. 
All right, guys, so we are here at the products page of Meal Organics. I think that's how you say it. So let's go through the uh, products here. As you can see, I like to sort it by rank uh, because if you didn't know, the lower the rank, the more it sells on Amazon. So obviously something that's ranked two, it's definitely a top hitting product that sells a lot. So if you actually s scroll to the right side here, all right, so Amazon in stock rate zero, amazing. That's what we like to see. Look at this, SMAs sold per month on this product that's ranked number two. Let me actually drag this so you guys can see side by side. All right, so 69,000 per month, all right? And let me see if it shows you the revenue, right? So they sell SMA monthly revenues over a million. So this is definitely a good product here. So this is something that I might be interested in selling. So let's go ahead and dig a little bit uh, further down. All right, guys, so if you click uh, on, under the ASIN right here, ASIN stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number. It's basically their own barcode internal UPC uh, to identify these products. So we'll go ahead and click on that, okay? And once you have the tab open in terms of the product, meal organics, rosemary, mint, scalp, and hair strengthening oil, all right, two ounces is, uh, we're gonna open up a new tab to search this brand on Google and to see if we can reach them for wholesale. All right, guys, so we're on Google. We're gonna go ahead and search for this product right here. Not product, actually brand. Let's go ahead and look for this brand here, all right? So here we are, first result, meal organics. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but we're just gonna go through with it. All right, meal organics. Let's go ahead and close these pop-ups here. All right. So the key thing, if you go to any brand website is we're gonna look for anything where it says wholesale or distributor and 99% of the time, you're gonna find them actually at the bottom of each website. So let's go ahead and do that. Scroll all the way to the bottom, look for wholesale or distributor anywhere here. And if you don't see, like for this example, we're gonna head and click customer support. Try to dig in a little bit deeper, all right. Uh, there's nothing really much here. So let's go ahead and submit a request. And our goal here is to reach out to them. And this is how we're gonna use ChatGBT on the next step. All right, submit a request review. Okay, uh, actually they have a wholesale distributor request here, which is awesome. Okay, so pretty basic standard information. They're asking email address, full name. Uh, let's see what's request type, domestic, international. We're gonna be selling here in US of A. Hit domestic there. And subject, we're gonna do uh, inquire. Actually have it here. Inquiry about wholesale purchasing, okay? And description here, uh, this is where we can actually use ChatGBT or a next step to have us create a template because what holds a lot of beginners is they get overwhelmed. They get over, they start overthinking. Hey, what am I gonna send to, you know, either brands or suppliers like this? We're gonna have ChatGPT4 handle this for us so that way we don't have to worry about it and not put our own emotion and just strictly deal with business. All right, so we're here at ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and type in something here, all right? Um, make me a, an email template to reach out to a wholesale, oh my gosh, I can't spell, wholesale supplier <laughs> or this tributor. You guys, thank God for technology here that helps, you know, spell or chat GPT. All right, make me an email template to reach out to a wholesale supplier or distributor that we want to open an account with them. Make it simple and direct to the point, smiley face. All right, so let's see what it starts to cook up here. So just looking at the results of ChatGPT, Chat it's super long. So you wanna put yourself in the other person's shoe. It's like when you receive an email, do you really wanna read an email that long? So chances are, I'm not gonna read it. So they might not even read it. So let's see if we can simplify it down. So can you please simply, simply. God, I don't know how I graduated high school, I can't spell today. Can you please simplify this email? All right, let's see here. So here's a simplified version of the email. Let's see what it cooks up. It's a brand new technology, you guys. You, you have to be patient sometimes. And you know, it's all about refining things, right? Ah, there you go, a lot better, right? All right, so request. You can even use the subject line here. So copy and paste here, right? Just don't overthink it, you know? Just copy and paste here, okay? 
Hi, my name, you put in your name here, right? Or the suppliers, or you can just even, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. We're looking to add new products on our lineup. We're interested in your products to open a wholesale account with you. Could you let us know what we need to get started, including your prices, minimum order quantities, and other important details? That's it, nice, simple, straight to the point, right? So go ahead and do this. Hi, always show excitement, you guys. All right, so hi, my name is, uh, all right, Lester from, insert your company's name here, best Amazon seller, right? And we're looking to add uh, new products to our lineup. We're interested in your, uh, let's just put beauty products, right? That's what we use. And want to open a wholesale account with you. Could you let us blow? Yeah, that's pretty straightforward here. Things just happen Lester here. And we're not going to attach anything. Most likely they're going to require our reseller certificate uh, down the road, but let's just not worry about it right now and just hit submit there, okay? All right, just hit submit after you put all that info. All right guys, so I actually emailed Miel here and they actually got back to me, which is amazing. So they said, hi, thank you for your inquiry. We appreciate interest working with Miel and becoming a distributor in our products. Please contact one of our authorized domestic distributors to learn about a partnership and any opportunities available. So they don't work with um, directly with consumers like you know me or possibly you. So they're giving the information to the distributors who's purchasing their products. And the beautiful thing about reaching out to these distributors or big suppliers is you're now gonna have access to other brands that they sell so that's i actually prefer that because with the brand you're just direct you know directly stuck with that one brand not stuck but like you know working with that one brand but with distributors you know the uh, opportunities out there you know like so many brands so as you can see they have you know one two three four five six so six potential distributors that you can work with so we'll go ahead and just pick any of this let's go ahead and pick with seven dollar dot app because they have a cool website right they're not boring like a dot com all right we are at seven dollar dot app here that's one of the distributors from miel okay so let's go through their website that looks like the myspace era i don't know why all suppliers website looks like this but uh once you do see something like this you know you're on the right track all right and look at this here miel all right that's the product that we are looking for all right let's not click there because it's going to bring it to our website let's go back to the product all right so it's called rosemary mint scalp all right so actually if you go through brands here they have a lot of brands you guys so this is what i'm talking about if you reach out to um, a supplier okay they just keep on going here there's a lot of brands they can go through or potential products but we're gonna go to search in miel here all right because that was what we are looking for and we're gonna look for this item right here the rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil two ounces that's a key detail right there let's go ahead and move next to this tab it's a very small item so oh, that's not it that's mango so we're gonna keep on scrolling down, load more products, see what they have. Again, you can sell all these other products again, but I just wanna show you the example here. Oh, 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 here it is. Might be. All right, meal rose mint strengthening growth oil, two ounces, short description here. All right, so please log in to see prices. So the next step naturally is we're gonna go ahead and register with them here, okay? No, we are not an existing customer. So we'll go ahead and make an account with them with the supplier here. And most of the suppliers here are pretty basic information like your name, business address, or residential address, I would say, if you don't have a business address yet, your website, if you have one, tax number, all that stuff. So pretty straightforward to the point here. And once you, you know, register and create an account with them, now you're gonna have access to their brand, brand catalogs and prices at the same time. And guys, that's pretty much it. Once you have access to their brand catalogs and pricing online, it's pretty much just shopping and it's a fair game. As you mentioned, suppliers will have access to all the products and brands they have available. And you pretty much rinse and repeat till you find one that really works for you. If not, you go back to Smart Scout, refine, maybe try a different category like pet category or video games or so on and so forth. And if you guys wanna learn the best products to sell on Amazon FBA, click this video out right here. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.